Hello and welcome to an episode of Lucky Stones. I'm Chris and today I'm going to be taking you fossil hunting down at Leon Solent. It's one of my favourite locations. It's uh, my, lo my most local place to Portsmouth. Uh, we're down at Monks Hill Car Park. Uh, just parked the car and uh, we're going to make our way to the beach. We've got about a couple of metres and then we're onto the beach, into the shingle, see if we can find some shark's teeth and some cool shells. I'll check in with you when we get to the beach. Well, the car park's right there. It's an absolutely beautiful day and we're going to be searching this big patch of shingle here, see if we can find some fossils. Now the fossils at this location are from the Eocene, uh, about 33 to 36 million years old. The climate back in England at that time was kind of Mediterranean, uh, much warmer than it is today. And uh, we're expecting to find shark's teeth, ray plates, uh, some fairly nice shells, the bivalves and the gastropods do get quite big at this location, so we'll see what we can find. Okay, we've got the first gastropod, nothing too exciting there. They get quite a lot bigger than that, so I'm not going to take that one home. Right, so we've got another gastropod down there, and we've got a little tiny bivalve here. Nothing too exciting so far. <laughs> Oh, oh wow, haha, <laughs> okay, uh, this one's quite an easy spot to find, but oh, I'm quite pleased with this one. Have a look at that. We've been here about 10 minutes and I found my first shark's tooth. Ah, look at that. Oh, that's a cracker. Oh, I'm really pleased with that. Okay, it's missing half the root, but yeah, got to be pleased with that. I think that's an Atodus. We'll check out that when we get home, but wow, yay. Well, what difference a day makes. I was down here yesterday and it was blowing a gale. Absolutely horrendous. Couldn't have done any filming because you wouldn't have been able to hear a word I say. Today is absolutely lovely. Oh, found another one. That's that. Can you see that? Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> It's quite a nicely preserved one. Now we'll get a photo of that when we get home. Wow, I have just seen a really nice tooth. I'm just going to take you slowly in here and see if you can spot that. Looks like it's quite a really well preserved one. Are we getting that in shot? Yeah, there we are. How good's that? Right, let's have a look at that in my hand. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, very pleased with that one. We've got a couple of big gastropods here. As I say, they do get quite a lot bigger than that. Literally, they'll cross your whole palm. So that's about half the size of how they big, how big they get to. So uh, I won't take this back with me. I'll leave this for someone else. And we've got another little one there. All right, let's see if we can find a ray plate or an even bigger shark's tooth. Because they do get up to a couple of inches here. I came here with a friend of mine uh, a few months ago and um, he found uh, a couple of absolute monsters. Right, well it's a little beaten up but uh, we found one of the slightly bigger gastropods here. Seems to have been a little bit eaten out by uh, some critters but that's not a bad size. Yeah, I don't think we'll take that home though. Yeah, it's not quite complete. One of the reasons I really like this location is uh, not necessarily because the fossils are particularly exciting or rare, but quite the opposite. They're, you're almost certain to find something every time you come. So I'm only down here for about an hour, hour and a half maybe this morning, uh, but I've already found a couple of shark's teeth and a couple of nice shells. So it's been a productive trip already. I would highly recommend this for families and children because they will definitely go home with at least a shell, if not uh, if not a shark's tooth or something a bit more exciting. All right, can you see what I've just spotted? We found one of the big ones. It's not perfect, but uh, certainly the biggest one of the day. And that is, yeah, 
much slower, much more sizable. Yeah, I'll bring that home and we'll compare that to uh, a couple of the even bigger ones that I found. Yeah, quite pleased with that one. Okay, we found quite an unusual one for this place. Uh, it's, it's again not not the best preservation I've ever found with one of these. I normally find these at Barton. Uh, this is a, another gastropod, and this is a guy called Psychostoma. Um, I'm not sure if it's Bulbous or Pyrus, but Psychostoma is the family. Uh, yeah, quite nice to find one of those here. And a couple of paces on from the bivalves, we've got just lying on the top of the shingle. This is an easy spot to find. If I can get the camera to work, yeah, there it is. And just as is on the top of the shingle. Very nice. And that is a Striatolamia macrota, which is like a sand tiger shark, but a fossil one. Wow. And we're a couple of paces on from the last one. And we've got a slightly bigger one, same species. Can you see that in the middle of the screen there? Yeah, really pleased with that one. They, oh yes, that's fantastic. That is, a... oh, I'm really pleased with that. That's, that's a proper big one. Yay. Well, time and tide waits for no man, as they say, and neither does the phone charge. Uh, I'm nearly out of charge, so I'm gonna have to cut the video short at this point. I'll check in at home once I've charged up and show you what we found. Uh, we've got probably about 100 metres more of searching before I get back to the car park. And um, yeah, I'll let you know what I find. Right, take it easy. Right, we're back home. Uh, giving the fossils a wash and we'll do a quick recap of what we found at Lee today. It was a um, really quite a productive day. We've got the really big bivalves here. These ones are called Venericores. Um, found about three or four of those, but these are the two nicest ones. And then moving along to the big gastropods. Um, I'll be totally honest, I left one of the, a lot of the smaller ones there, <laughs> uh, leave them for another day. But these uh, these big ones are called Isferinas, and um, uh, I like them because they get really big. This little bivalve here is uh, very, very common on the beach, it's called Glycimeris. And this one is the first one of these that I found. Um, I found a few of these at Barton-on-Sea, uh, but this is a guy called Psychostoma pyrus. Um, or maybe Psychostoma bulbus, it's a bit difficult to say because he's, um, he's a bit beach rolled. But he's definitely one of those two, so that's quite a nice one. And then moving on to the shark's teeth that we found, I had a really, really nice haul. We've got this one here that's the uh, best part of two inches, really pleased with that. And these ones on the top row, these are all from a guy called Striatolamia macrota, which is a bit like a, um, a sort of tiger shark that lived in sandy waters. Um, these larger sort of triangular ones are Jackalotodus, uh, Jackalotodus trigonalis, uh, to give it its full name. These rather very well preserved little beauties down here with the side cusps are Odontaspis, which is uh, it's nice to find them in that good condition. And these ones down here, I think they might be Hypotodus, but it's, um, it's a little bit difficult to tell. And we found a couple of ray plates as well. And these are um, from a guy called Myliobatis. And it varied in size from the, um, the sort of stingrays that you get at the aquarium, um, right up to the really, really huge ones that are about the size of uh, the big manta rays today. Well, that brings us to close of what we found while we were at Lee. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, we'll be somewhere else next time. So if you like this, please join me then. Cheers. Take care. Bye.